Welcome back to TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus most definitely comes first. This once again is Chapman and you teach you the unchangeable word of God. Listen to this theme song and you'll know. It's me. Hey, guys. It's me. Hello. Hey, guys. Welcome back to this week's episode of TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus does most definitely come first. And I wanted to let you all know, and we are getting situated here. We are having some issues today, and the reason why I say we, because I am accompanied today by my good friend, Prophet Bishop Steve Vergona. Hello, Steve. How you doing? God bless Bishop, you can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, let me turn up my volume. Can you hear me now, Bishop? Yes, I can. Okay, I can hear you now. Okay, my volume on the microphone needed to be turned up for some reason. Let me try turning up this volume here. Okay, so how have you been, Prophet? Not bad. I've, I've been blessed. Good. How's everything going in your neck of the woods? It's going good. Good. It, it, I'm glad that you took some time out of your busy schedule, because I know you're busy these days, but took time out of your busy schedule to be here with us on TGIF. Yes. Always, always enjoyed being part of TGIF. Hey, it's always nice having you. We we actually get into some good topics when we talk about things. Oh, definitely. That's so great. let's let's do this because I got a really big announcement. I told my listeners a little bit last week, but I got a huge announcement. Do I not, Steve? Yes, you do. A huge announcement. Here's here's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna get into the brief, few brief announcements. Number one, you know what they can do right now, Steve? What can you do? They can go to communitycloud222 at gmail.com. That's spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D, 222 at gmail.com. And you know what they can do right there, Steve? What can they do? They can send me all of their prayer requests, even if they want me to shout out to them on the radio. Yeah. All they have to do is send me their first name, their city, and their state, and I'll shout out to them on TGIF. Where Jesus most definitely comes first. Here's an example, Steve. Uh, this is a shout out to my friend who's already on the show, Bishop Prophet Steve Ragona. And where are you at, Steve? I'm over here in Michigan. In Roseville, Michigan, we'll just say. That'd be an example shout out. You know what else they can do right now? What else can they do? They can call me at 1 302 448 Again, that's 1 302 448 TGIF. And they can contact you at 1-248-759-0233. Again, 1-248-759-0233. God bless you. Bye and I want them to keep in mind we're doing this tomorrow too, Steve. Hopefully you can join us for Worship Tuesdays. Where we'll be doing nothing but worshiping God. I enjoy that. And we actually will... It depends. If God wants to discuss more about a topic, too, as well, then we got to let God have his way, correct? Correct. We, so, always, we always do by the Holy Ghost. Right. So worship Tuesdays unless God says otherwise. And we do nothing on worship Tuesdays but worship God. We have a prayer and we worship. And that's all we do. We just, we just get into the presence of God because the best place I found when you're stuck in a situation, Steve, is where? In praise. In praise, right. In pure praise, the Bible says we praise, praise God in spirit and in truth. All right, praise God in spirit and truth and soul. So it's pure praise that brings forth. Uh, don't get me wrong, prayer is good too. Prayer is the answer to all things, the Bible says. But praise helps break the yokes of bondage. Praise does. Sure does not. God opens the doors for you. Absolutely. So praise breaks the bondage, the yokes of bondage. In my book. I like it's that. One of the actually, things that it does. Yes, you're doing this. Give thanks to God. Oh, right. He's going to do something for you. I also want the listeners to know that we will be starting up real soon the rumble. We'll be shaking the heavens. We'll be railing the earth. And we'll be rumbling against the principalities of darkness and evil. Back in the day, Steve, when boxers used to fight, what do they call that? Rumble. They called it a rumble. They were what? Fighting. The Bible says that we don't fight or rumble against the flesh and blood, does it not? Right. I remember back in the days, there used to be people rumble against each other. 
but it says that they rumble or f that we rumble or fight against the what principalities of darkness and evil. Right. So we'll take one day out of the week, preferably at midnight, and I'd say this every time I do this because when midnight shows up, what happens? All the demons come out, the evil spirit, because it, it's, it goes like this. If you have a dark room, okay, Steve, you have one dark room, and it's complete dark, no light whatsoever, can you see anything? No, but let's pray to God. Right. So when you turn on one night light, and that little tiny night light starts to glow, is it still dark in your room? Absolutely. But now can you see a little bit? Yes, because the light dispels a little bit of the darkness. It's just like when you finally turn your lights on, the full light, the light dispels the darkness. And even the light in your house and the sunlight, the devil don't like because it dispels darkness. Because the devil does not like the light, including the light of Jesus. Therefore, at midnight they all come out because there is no light. The only light that's out there is the moon, and that's not bright enough to, to harm the devil. Right. So he, he and his minions come out at midnight, and they do their thing at midnight. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fight and pray against the devil at midnight, preferably. Amen. We'll have one song. We'll pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. It'll be like the Energizer Bunny. We'll keep praying and praying and praying and praying. And pray. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to uh, make a sound effect real quick, and my sound effects are really loud. So, with that being said, let's. Uh, with that being said, I got one more announcement. I cannot wait. I actually don't want to say it now, but I I can't wait to say it. But say it. here's what's going on. <clears throat> I was working with a company. Well, not with a company. I was working alongside of a company that was that, that has a website out there. I'll give you the name right now. It is called AppsGeyser.com. And what this company allows you to do, it allows you to use their free tools and services and all of their, you know, license and everything to create your entire Android app for free, monetize it, make money off it. Right now we're not doing this. But monetize it, make money off it, but you can create your own free Android app for absolutely nothing. And when you do this, you can do all kinds of things with it. You can edit things, you can make different changes. It's really a good website. So now I've created, with the help of that website in Spreaker.com, which is my podcasting host, I created the new TGIF podcast portal. It's it's our own Android app, Steve, that it's our own Android app. You know what they could do on the app alone? What can they do? They can listen to every single episode in the world that TGIF has done, every episode. Not only that, and I told you in the beginning, they can also go to community called 222gmail.com, right? Right. If they download this app, all they got to do is hit the email function, and guess what that does? What does it do? It sends an email to communitycloud222 at gmail.com. So if you remember nothing else that I told you about how to send me an email, download Podcast Portal on the Android App Store when it does come out. And I'll let all my listeners know that the Podcast Portal has came out. And when it does, download the app and you can instantly send me an email. Not only that, Steve. I'm not going to give everything away, but they can also, uh, they can do all kinds of things. They can also, uh, uh, so they call Connect it? with me on Facebook as well. They can't call just yet. I'm still working on that idea. But they can connect with me on Facebook and my Twitter as well. Message me there and stuff like that. They can log into all their accounts right on the website. That'd be I mean, a right on the app. I should say, not website, the app. Yeah, so they can leave that number so we can call them. Yeah, the 302 You can call me at that number no matter what. But There's on the app that. itself, there is no button to push call and call me. Or right. they can keep in contact with me through Facebook, Twitter, and my email, which is communitycloud222 at gmail.com, all straight through the app. But you know what else is great, Steve? Well, that, that, that they can get while they're on the app? Amen. You know, you know what else they can get on the app? What else can they get? They can get the, the Word of God and the love of God all at their fingertips in one place. 
And that and one place, Steve, is the pod is podcast portal from TGIF. And there's like going to be some future future updates. I got I've already got the updated uh, the updated app right now on my phone that I use every single day now. I got the updated app right now, and it, the update that I just put in there, Steve, is mind blowing. It's going to really give the listeners and see. I'll give you guys a clue. Because see on this on this the speaker I'm doing the podcast TGIF I can't play copyrighted music right because it's against the law according to the laws you cannot broadcast copyrighted music but there is a feature that I found that that you can do that I have used on the app so if you guys out there want to hear some good music and you can't get it through the show itself right away. Go to the portal when the update comes out after you download the first one. Once you guys download the first one, the second one, the update will come like, you know, three weeks afterwards. And once that update comes within the next three weeks afterwards, you guys already got the first one. Wait till you see the new the new update that I put into the app. I have my listeners in mind, Steve, when I made the app because, number one, the app is a dark theme. And I created that because I'm, I want to be aware of my listeners. And if you have a very bright screen that's all pure white, it's going to be hard on the eyes. And for right. those who have some seeing problems as well, the harsh light will be damaging to their eyes. So I did a, a darker theme, kind of like a gray-blue mixture onto the app, and kind of did a dark player for the podcast. And uh, so it's easier to look at on the eyes. You can look at it for quite a long while and not have to worry about hurting your eyes. So if you really want to hear, but you don't have to look at the web, the, the app so much. You just have to push the button to play the episodes. And you can scroll through all the playlists of 168 there. Can you believe that, Steve? 168 episodes. Wow. That's 118 hours and some minutes of time that we've done this. Pretty soon, pretty soon, Andrew will be another zero on that. Oh, I know. 168 episodes, though, for five years. Every Monday straight, unless I had a reason to miss a day. Every Monday straight, 168. That's a blessing right there, straight from God. That is a blessing straight from God. So let us let me do this for just a brief minute. Let me give the Lord a clap offering on that note, because that's a blessing right there. <laughs> people as you can Lord so that everyone can take the portal with them because when they go on that road Steve and they don't want to have to worry about logging into a website or going to a page and they just click one button push one button again two buttons Lord and they can hear the entire TGIF right there on the road when they're going on the trips they can also use the new feature Lord, when it comes out and be able to do a lot and, more stuff and believe and, me Steve there's going to be some stuff on this app that is just going to be a blessing to everyone. Chip and Andrew, you know it's been three years now? Anniversary? For? TGI, yeah. No, it's, 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 it's been more than three years. I've been doing this for five. I know, but I'm just talking about three years on the radio. No, we've been on the on the air for five years. Yeah, but I'm just talking about on your, on the other radio part of it. You talking about when we went to the podcast uh, place? Yeah. yeah. Well, that I didn't. That I didn't realize. I totally forgot about that because I'm no longer in Michigan. But this app, Steve, is going to be a killer app. It's going to have all sorts of features. When when it gets really going, Steve, there's going to be so many features on here that you won't even have to browse the internet no more. Let me just say it that way. That's another another clue to the to the app. You won't even have to browse the internet no more. I like that. There's, I mean, there's, you're still going to have to go to the internet itself, but when you do, when you go into the app itself, you'll be able to do so much stuff, Steve. It's it's going to be a time-saving thing, and every time I go live, like we're live right now, if you had the app, which I have the app now, the updated version, if you had the app right now, you could log into that app, just click a button, you don't even have to put any information in. You don't have to. The only thing you have to do to log in is to make a comment. So you have to log into your Facebook, your Twitter, your Apple account, or your email address. But that's the thing. I'm talking to the company right now who makes the 
uh, embedded player, they call it. What they do is they allow you to...